In this video, I'm going to give you an overview about Journey Builder. Let's first talk about Automation Studio. Now in Automation Studio, you can automate various tasks like sending email or importing data. For example, if I go to the Activities tab, there I can go and create an activity. Take for example, if I want to automate a task of sending email, I'll select Send Email. Say Next. Then I can select one of the shared emails which I created earlier. I can specify my send classification and essentially I can go through the wizard. I can go through a wizard to automate sending of an email activity. Select audience, configure delivery and activity summary. Another way of creating an activity would be to import a file. I can import a file if I want to automate that. I'll select import file. I'll say import. Over here, I can specify the source, whether it is FTP or it is safe house, and then I can start importing the file also. The same activity like what I did with respect to email and file import can be also done using interactions. Another way of creating an activity is file transfer. If I want to upload a file or download a file, and if I want to automate it, I'll use file transfer. If I want to write a query against a database, I will use SQL query activity. Or if I want to filter, then I'll make use of it. So in short, Automation Studio helps to automate the task like sending email, import, export of data to an FTP. Now let's talk about Journey Builder. Let's take for example, you want to create a drip marketing. To do that, we will make use of Journey Builder. Journey Builder has got following uh, building elements, sources, which defines what is the entry source for someone to enter into this journey. That could be a data extension, could be an API event which is triggered from an external could be a cloud page whenever a cloud page gets submitted a subscriber enters a journey or it could be an event let's take for example event where event would be anytime a lead or a contact is created or updated that enters into a journey and what is that journey as soon as some event occurs then an email needs to be sent after let's say email needs to be sent after one day after that, we are going to check whether that subscriber has opened the email or not. So I'll say engagement split. After sending that, let me delete this. Now, if I talk about engagement split, I'm going to check whether that subscriber has clicked on the email or not. If he has clicked on that email, then we are going to exit from this particular journey. If not, then after one day, we are again going to check if I go back, whether subscriber has clicked or not. If he has clicked it, then we are going to join. Let's suppose if we have clicked, then we are going to exit. So I'll just drag it over here. Now to reiterate, our journey was anytime an event occurs, an event could be any external event, 
then send an email after that check whether the email has been clicked or not if it has not been clicked after one day again check if it has not been clicked then exit on day three this was an example of using a journey like this you can create various complicated scenarios in the journey too